Yo, what's good everybody? JP checking in live, man. RespectMyRegion.com. Coming with you guys live from the Respect My Region booth. Here with some very special guests. We're at Flower Expo, Greenfield. It's hot. You know why it's hot? Because we're smoking on some fire. You know who's got fire on their menu? Fire brand cannabis. I got two new homies here. Got Michael, we got Alby. How you guys living today? I'm great. I can't complain. I'm doing great. You doing all right over there, Michael? The dream, the true dream now. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. I, I, I was told that you guys have a store, stores, one plural. Where it's our first store. One store coming online. We're only two weeks old. Wow. Yeah, we're really just in pre-launch stage. We haven't even launched. We're just in training. Okay. You know, um, getting our, our team up to speed. We got 90,000 people every day. We're directly across the street from South Station, the biggest transportation hub in, in New England. Hey, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we got a, a lot of people to service, so we want to make sure we're prepared to do that properly. That's going to be, the training part is important. I'm glad you guys start off, start off that right away. I think, for me, we actually had a two-week training period for the dispensary that I first started as a butt tender. The comfortability that you gain in that much time, the repetitions that you have, it's invaluable. And honestly, it creates memories as well. I think that's really important. With Especially when you're doing something at such a large speed. Yeah. If you start off and you just, you never break those bad habits, you start because you create bad habits. A thousand percent. And, you know, so you have to have checks and balances. You have to have good, like, check sec, a checklist of good SOPs to make sure you're, you know, you're running your business right when you're operating at that magnitude. To me, it seems like systems, processes, this, to some extent, there's got to be fun in there as well, but it's a business, right? And so culture is going to be important, right? How do you guys care or how do you guys bring to life this balance of culture and quality? Because you're curators as well. No, so a lot of it is the products we select. And that's what I'm going to bring them. Mike over to um, Michael over here. You know, I'm the GM. He's the, um, co he's the um, basically the, the curator there. He basically procures all our cannabis, but I'm going to give it to him and let okay. him tell you. Um, you know, go ahead, Michael, do your thing, man. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you put together this this menu, Michael? So, um, a lot of there's a lot of things that go in as a dispensary, right? You want business partners that are being supportive to you, um, whether it be you know coming to do pop ups, uh, you know giving our butt tenders samples so they could try it and speak about it, butt tender training, uh, you know all, all the way down to you know doing collabs and marketing. And, 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 you know, getting to have some of the marketing dollars. So a, a little bit goes about, obviously, you don't want to throw something on just to get marketing dollars. You want, you know, to have some sense of, of pride of what you put on your shelves. But fortunately, 90% of the market is value-based and they want something decent for a good price. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of good headies that, you know, will know about terpenes. And what we're going to differentiate ourselves with other stores is that our staff is really super terpene driven uh we have someone that gives the fud tender she wants to literally read every coa so she knows what what terpenes are each she, uh, well, she comes to sure at the, to to work with a terpene a different terpene <laughs> every day i love that you know so like she's big on that and we're going to be leaning on her for a lot of that terpene uh, you know, so. that's huge. You set a precedent that way. When our dispensary opened back in Seattle in 16, every one of us is medically certified, all 20 of our staff. Right. To have that precedence there is huge. And you guys being terpene centric in an area or a region where it's not necessarily that way yet, you really start to slowly fill in the gas. Just stay, yeah, slowly grasp and like to educate. People start drinking Boone Farms when they're whatever. <laughs> Look, you know, pretty good. The steed is all they're drinking. You know, by the time they're 21, they're moving up to the, the you know, something different, you know. Absolutely. Their palate changes as, as they're really consuming. So these are new consumers. They don't know what they're consuming yet. So you have to ring everybody's bells. So I kind of did everything across the fork. So from a value product up to a high-end product, a not too high-end product because those guys seem to be overpriced. And to me, the value is like in different companies that... They reach their quality level, but their value is still there. So they're somewhere in the mid, you know, the middle. So I think where we are at South Station, I think we're going to be value driven, but slowly but surely we'll we'll educate. You know, we're not going to be the the most expensive store. We're we're, we're going to be somewhere in the middle. You know, we're not going to be that huge store either. You know, yeah. we're not trying to eye gouge. Uh, currently, right now, even our ATM is is we're going to be doing things like. Not charging, you know, a, a double fee because most ATMs will charge you three bucks. 
we got to pay something, so we're going to do that. We don't, we're not going to accept the fee for our end of it. You know, things like that we're going to get rid of. Uh, they just came to that, you know, to the begin with. You know, those things, those little things are huge, right? There's different ways to build the relationships of people. So try to pass on as much value we can to the customer Absolutely. at the end of the day. So that's one thing that's really big about, you know, us as Firebrand. Um, one thing Michael did say is like our team is like full of our actually we're more like, yeah, we're in the we're in the, in the business as business folks, right? We're all kind of sewers, you know, so it's very important. One thing about picking brands as well is that the brands were part of the culture and they weren't just these big MSO and they weren't coming just to get a piece of the share. We wanted people who really were part of the culture. So I know that's really important with Michael as well, that they are part of the culture. Yeah, I wouldn't put anything on that I would have spoke myself, you know. So, but it's hard again to smoke everything that's on the shelf. So little by little on all the air, but we, you know. Well, that's, and that's the fun, you know, the procuring product means, means trying a lot of this stuff. It means r and it means trying to understand and analyze and project. And a lot goes into to creating and crafting a menu, right? It's, it's, a, it's your baby in, in a lot of ways. Because you are creating something that's for a large audience, you, but it's a business, so you got to see volume on certain things. So I'm excited for you guys. So our, 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 we have a site outside that says, uh, we're, we're in training. Please be patient. If we screw up, we're just learning, but we're really hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great, I love that. Good, good energy right there. Yeah. What are you guys most excited for that? And what do you want people to know about your brand? That you're, what do you want people to know about your brand that you're most excited for? That you're going to come to a place that's conveniently located, that's properly curated, and that, you know, it's going to be efficiently in and out, and that we have experienced bartenders that get you what you want, not what they want to try to sell and push for that day. So we're trying to get what they, what the folks want efficiently, quickly, in and out of the store, phone, catch a train, and see you next time. I love it. I love it. I love it. a good product with a good service for a good price. We even have a spot for the newbies where we could put them down and sit them down. We take them off blind. So we, with that, we have a little seating area that will bring a professional out. We'll sit down and they could talk all day long with them about cannabis. I love it. That's you got to come see. You got to come see. We got to come out there. Where is it located again, fellas? South Station. Across the street from South Station. This is Google. That's a city? 727 Atlantic. Yeah, in Boston. Within Boston. Within Boston. Atlantic. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know these areas. I'm from somewhere else. I got to tap in. Yeah. We'll have to come by visit. Which brand or which products? If, if a connoisseur is flying into Boston and they go to South Station, what's the number one thing you recommend? Or two no, things. See, I could tell you what sold out, out first. first was, was the, <laughs> I could tell you what sold out first, and that was the orange OG. Well, we can't even get in on our shelves back there because they're out of it now. We can't wait until we get it the next time. Sounds out to my guy, True C. What he went for that? He put that he put that relationship together, and man, I didn't know that strain was gonna be that good. But man, this OG, orange OG, the cure, the the, 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 the cure out in California. Oh yeah, I know that group. So they're 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 they're, they're, they're weed is fired. So I'll say that I want mean, to take this like you know back talk, the office talk amongst you know bud tenders and staff. We're like, yo, this cure OG is that the marathon? You know, we know it's the Nipsey also like has some like maybe founding in this and we're just so everyone's in the in the uh, in our whole facility was is happy about it. And everyone has firebrain, the whole staff, because we're true connoisseurs. Yeah. So when this product when we found out it was coming in, every firm went from, you know, our inventory specialist to our data yep, specialist yep. to our butt tenders, even to myself being a co owner and GM, even to Michael being a curator. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I tell you even what, these these but I, I'm super impressed with our butt tenders. Um, I've been in the legacy market for 25 years. It's probably 30 years, actually. Um, and I, I mean, I thought I knew weed, like, but the, the, you know, when it comes down to like terpenes and whatnot, like I, I now know because I've been educated by my butt tenders, Yeah, you know, but I used to, you know, I used to go by smell alone. I knew I could tell every, every type of weed that there was. It was a lot simpler back then than when there wasn't 25,000 types of different prosperites and hybrids. It, absolutely. That was the old days. Well, I'm super happy that you guys and your the customers, you guys, and they have access to quality cannabis. Massachusetts has good stuff. Big shout out to the Cure Company and their crew, the OGs, and of course, this entire community, man. You guys are wonderful. You guys are great. Everybody. You know, I'm excited. Every year, to everybody. If, if you're not on our shelves, you know, it's it's just because we, you know, we we got you got full right now, and you may be on it soon enough. You know, yeah, yeah, that's it. Where can people uh, where can people follow you or support you guys at? You're the 
on Instagram, Boston Firebrand. Okay. And then on Instagram, Firebrand Cannabis. I mean, on Instagram, I'm sorry, on Instagram, Boston Firebrand, and then just online, Firebrand Cannabis. Firebrand Cannabis. Firebrand Cannabis are live. Well, thank you guys for being here, man. I'll be Michael. It was a pleasure to learn about you guys. Thank you for having us. We definitely go off and pull up on you guys. You gotta pull up. I don't know what y'all are doing Thursday night, but you already know it's Celtics that night, so we're going to be back in the city after Flower Expo, which is where we're at right now. Shout out to Flower Expo for having us. Our sponsors, Trees. Shout out to Trees. Bada Bloom. Shout out to Bada Bloom. Yes, yes, yes. And my new friend, you can find Bada Bloom and and Firebrand. Come on, man. Hey, yeah, make sure you guys go visit Firebrand Cannabis and pick up that Bada Bloom. Hey, guess what? Next time, we're going to see you guys out here in Massachusetts, aka Gassachusetts. JP, check it out, man. We're out. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Peace.